Welcome back, everyone, to another Nutty Ninja Pass. This one is Frozen Sorrow. It is a remake or a remaster, whatever you want to call it, by Toby. The original track was originally by Slick Scythe back on Fusion, and it is a very hard front wheel, back wheel track, as you will see. So this isn't a ported track. So the difference between a ported track and this remaster is it would not have been touched at all and it probably wouldn't even be possible if if Toby didn't mess around with the driving line of it. Needless to say, this is by far the hardest track that I have passed in trials. I think overall definitely the hardest front wheel back wheel track I've ever done. And I'm not really too keen on front wheel back wheel tracks on Rising, but this one was a grind that I had for quite a long time, and it was definitely worth it. It paid off. I believe the first time I started attempting this track was in the summer of 2019, and I was off and on with it for quite a while. I used to do the plus CPs of it quite a bit. I think I passed it like four or five times before I got this full pass, and that helped me a lot, especially with the last three checkpoints I thought were extremely hard, and CP3 was pretty rough as well. I don't know if many of you guys have watched it yet, um, but that tutorial for Black Belt, it was received pretty well by by many people, and I'm really glad that uh, that's helping out. But I want to make some more types of tutorials, and I've been talking with the community about making a like a ninja specific tutorial on on stationaries, and then maybe in the future I can talk about more stuff like doing squishies, uh, slides, you name it. I don't believe there's been a tutorial, like a really in-depth, you know, freeze frame slash slow-mo tutorial on stationaries in a really long time. And I thought it'd be a good opportunity to, uh, you know, put my teaching slash writing skills into use and, and to make a video on it. Let me know in the comments if there are some other techniques that I should go over and I can run it through, you know, my stream. I'll talk to you guys on like Discord, wherever. Like I just, I want to help out and get a lot more people involved with ninjas. And I think that tutorials might be the best way to do it. Another in-depth tutorial that I wanted to make similar to the Black Belt one is a Rise of the Dragon run. I think it was really close behind the pulls when I made that first drop pull. So stay tuned for that. I'll ask around a little bit more and get some more thoughts on, you know, what I could do differently with making a tutorial. I feel like I learned quite a lot and I, I missed out on a few opportunities to talk about stuff on the black belt run. So thank you for all the feedback that I received for that. One more thing I wanted to talk about is the trials rising anniversary competition. I was really happy with the turnout of the FS19 competition, so I thought, hey, why not, you know, host another competition? It should be great, and it's a perfect time to do it, because we are approaching the one-year anniversary. For anyone that hasn't seen the poster yet, the rules are it'll be a minimum of five checkpoints for your track, or a maximum of 20 checkpoints. The reason behind this amount of checkpoints, I think that is, like, the, the sweet spot. That is the, the Goldilocks zone because I don't really want to see tracks that are just one checkpoint and I don't want to see stuff that's a giga track that, uh, that's going to take up the entirety of the stream to, to do and to rate. There's going to be no time limit. You could still make some really short checkpoints and the difficulty is going to be any difficulty up to a ninja level 4. And you guys can refer to Curse of the Demon, Blue Belt, or Ninja Central tracks for some level 4 obstacles if you're really trying to push yourself and max out on the difficulty. The theme for this competition is going to be multiple things, so you can choose from any of these three and any combination of them. So the first one is going to be Fantasy, the second theme is going to be Space, and then the third theme is Post-Apocalyptic. When you make your track, be sure to mark in the title or the name of the track the letters TRA 
so it'll be easy for me and the rest of the judges to find. All right, guys, that's going to be it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the run. I was really proud of myself for getting this pass. So can I get a hop? Let's go in the comments.